Not even your own black men want your black ass. Because you're all loud, you're ratchet, you're nasty, you help destroy the family, you help destroy your children. Wow. Um, where to even start? Um, it's like you want to be mad at this, but it's like I can't be mad because deep down in my spirit, I know that this is personal. I know that some black woman or some black man pissed you off or maybe your black man or maybe just your man. The man don't even have to be black left you for a black woman. And now you're going scorch earth because every <clears throat> one of her 50 pages is nothing else but hate directly directed mainly towards black women. She is also um, a devout um trump republican and she's not even advocating for anything for her community she's literally only advocating against the black community which is kind of scary like I'm, I'm gonna insert another clip she even she made a video saying let's band together with the kkk and we'll look we'll put aside all the things that they did to to us in the past let's go ahead and join with the Kukax clan i mean if they're willing to fight against what's going on we welcome you we welcome you and we will not look at your past and the things that you've done to people of other colors because we have a common goal now listen i don't know listen this is this is definitely a personal situation this somebody did something to her and now she is she's losing her shit because this is not this cannot be formed i don't i mean i don't know honestly i'm confused i'm perplexed i am perplexed because the hate and the vitriol that she has for black women is astounding i know that america has a problem with black women but damn bitch like what the fuck we do to you who did what to you just just tell us what they did just tell us what they did because that's the only reason that anybody would be that pissed off like there's no need in either trying to like debunk anything she said or like attack any of her talking points because it's all coming from a place of anger like damn i'm not gonna apologize for what they did to you because uh, jesus christ Since BLM ceased to be the divide among fake conservatives and real I'm going to try to say this in a way that doesn't come off like an angry black man because I know you you believe in those stereotypes. So I'm gonna use my inside voice outside this. Okay. I'm gonna try to do this with less okay. I genuinely want to know why is it that every single time a person from a marginalized community decides to stand up and be the subway tokens that they really are for the white supremacy and white patriarchy system that they want to uphold. Why is it that you always go after other people and other marginalized communities? Y'all never come with any economic policies that would make you conservative. Y'all never come with any policies whatsoever that would, you know, burnish your conservatives bona fide. You simply come with the same vitriol we can hear at a clan room. And make no mistake about it, you are a subway tool. That's right. You're the shield for white racists to hide behind when they want to say something about the community that you come from. True. I know you never thought about it that way, but those of us on the outside, we see it for what it truly is. You see, I saw your rambling, incoherent rant about black women not raising their children. I'm sorry. Are there not baby mamas in every community? Irresponsible men busting off, not wearing to wear a condom and then walking away from their responsibilities. Is that something that only afflicts the black community? I'm pretty sure though, you'll find it in the community that you belong to. I'm sure. In fact, if you went and looked, it would embarrass you for 
you saying what you said about black men. But as a black man, I cannot allow that to happen. I cannot abide having someone within a marginalized, a from a marginalized community talking down to black women. And that's why I'm making this video. And then you want to talk about BLM. Here is something that I don't think you, being the conservative subway token that you are, genuinely and truly understands about Black Lives Matter. You can say whatever you want to about the organization. Trust me, you would not be alone. I've said it too. The movement itself. Do you know one of the things that's great about that movement? Say you or a member of your family has a horrific inter uh, uh, interaction with a cop and they end up maimed or blinded or hurt or crippled or killed. Do you think your conservative friends are going to rally for you? No, because they back the blue. In fact, if you take yourself to those conservative friends and you talk to them about what happened, this horrific interaction with you or your family member and a police officer, the first thing they're going to ask you is, well, what did you do? But do you know who would stand up for you? Who would seek justice for you if you asked them to? Black Lives Matter. True, true. And the movement has a lot of black women in it. In fact, you would say that the movement itself is started and, you know, sustained by black women. The same ones you decided to shit on. Now, I understand you will not understand any of this. In fact, you will think everything that I'm saying is a lie, and that's perfectly fine. You are, after all, a subway token. You only have one, you, you only have literally one use. You are the shield for white racists to stand behind when they want to talk about people within your own community. Hello guys, now, welcome back to our channel now. Let me know what you think about this video guys in the comment section. Now, this is the reason why I don't always use like to use the word colored people because if you if i use the word colored people you know this kind of people are always in the same bracket the word colored people refers to also indians i guess so but uh, i now get to understand that not all these people are with us in this fight we are alone we are in this thing alone and therefore we have to face it look at this woman the way she's speaking as if um uh, she has been wronged by all my people and maybe she was just wronged by one or two people but she has now put every person of color or every people of my race in the same bracket which is not good and this openly shows that um, she has a problem uh, maybe mentally or she has a problem with the entire community which uh, I think um, nobody will help her and I've tried to check her, uh, her page is like it is not there it is deleted and this shows that maybe all her videos are, have been so nasty and uh, targeting to drive certain thing because it is not good to speak to the entire community this way because my people never did anybody wrong we never did anybody wrong in fact we were wronged our people were wronged our respect was stolen our children, I mean our children, our parents were lynched. We were actually wronged and therefore we are demanding to be paid for all the wrongs that they did to us. You know, sometimes I've been thinking that we are in this war with these people. And I've, by watching this video, I've now get to understand that we are in this war alone. And therefore we need to fight ourselves. Because if we expect to be joined by these people, these people always think that they are also, they forget that they are put in the same bracket with us. They forget that we are the same, same people who were enslaved. They were also enslaved, but not like they did to us. So I will urge my people to stand alone because if we expect that we will be supported by them, they will not. They are not ready to support us. This is just an example 
of some more of them who are hiding behind. They have a very bad mentality towards our people. You see, speaking to black women like this shows that it is not only for black women. It is for my people. It is for my entire people. Because attacking a black woman is like, is like attacking the entire community because black women are the creation of the black generation. And if you attack the black women, it means you are attacking our creator. You see? So we will not uh, let it go like that. That's why I have decided to do this video. Because it is touching unto my people. We, we can't sit down there, relax, as you speak the way you want to our black women, expecting that we will just keep quiet and let you go like that. You will not. You will not. There are many of them like this. We have them here in Africa. They are doing so many things bad to our people. They have separated themselves from us. They have got their own area where they are living. They don't want us to go live with them. They don't want to be their neighbors. They are doing that in our own country. Imagine. I've realized that um, keeping quiet is not an option. The option is to speak out. Because if you don't speak out, they take advantage like this woman here, you see? She thinks that all my people are wrong and therefore she is ready to even join hand with the people who, have, who oppressed us and oppressed them to, to oppress us. You see how some people are so... I don't want to use that word here. She's forgetting that they were also oppressed and she's just ready and willing to join hands with the people who oppressed us to continue oppressing us because she was oppressed or she was wronged by one individual who is coming from my community. Ah, that's not good, man. And my people, I'm urging you to stop engaging into businesses with these people because they are not part of us. They are ready and willing to join hand with the oppressor to oppress you. This is just an example of more of them who are hiding there. And I don't like them. Let me just be sincere. I don't like them. I don't like them. I mean, I don't like them. I don't like these people. They are pretenders. They pretend to be our friends and yet they are eating our back. They are secretly plotting on how they can join hand with the oppressor to continue oppressing us. I don't like them. I don't like them to be sincere. They think that they are, which they are not. They are forgetting that they are not that. You know, I don't know what's wrong with some people. If you've grown to a certain age, you, you need to eliminate some words from your mouth. And uh, I, I do believe that, I always believe that uh, once someone has grown old or has become an adult or, or has become a parent, there's some maturity that normally or always comes automatically even without you going to school. But I get to understand now that... Uh, uh, it's not that way the way I do think. There are people who don't get much, uh, mature very fast. Maybe, I don't know, but I do believe that there's some natural maturity that do comes to you automatically even without you stepping to a class. But this openly shows that it's not that way. There are people who are just nasty. If you put them with, with kids, they behave the same with kids. They don't behave like they are adults or they should be as an example to a certain group of people. Uh -huh. This is how some people are. And this is who they will be. And this is who they are. So therefore, my people, please wake up and stop being. And stop being lied by these people that they are with you. They are not with you. You are in this world alone. And you are in this struggle alone. You are in this struggle alone. Nobody will come to hold your hands. If they come, they are pretenders who are ready to uh, take you back to the oppressor. Because they are ready and willing to join hand with the supremacist. To continue making the superiority grow bigger. Because they think that they will be remembered by these people. Which will never happen. They treat them like they do to us. They are in the same category we are, according to them. 
So, my people, please wake up and stop being lied to by these people that they are with you in the same fight. Most of them are not with us. Most of them are not with us. They are helping the supremacist to continue being superior as we, as we are trying to fight for equality and, and oneness in this world. They are fighting to make them hold on to supremacy. That is what they are doing. That is who they are. And they will never change. They will never change. So guys, let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. And of course, if you're here for the first time, please, I request that you subscribe. And to our returning viewers, guys, we love you so much. You are the people that keep, keeps me going. I'm not the same way I started. I am a different person. And I thank God because it is a journey of step by step. And together with you guys, are going to reach far. And I pray that we make this channel grow and continue doing what it is doing because it is changing the world. Together with you, we are changing the world. Together with you, we are making some people somewhere learn and realize the truth of how the world or where, or where the world is heading to. Okay? So let us not keep quiet when such things are happening to our people. Let's always speak it out so that um, we make some people also learn where the direction of the world has taken. If we don't, they will actually pee on us. They will. I promise you, they will pee on us. So let's always be awake and speak it out. Even if they don't like it, that's up to them. If they like it, that is up to them. But the truth is we've said it. Saying it is the most important thing. My intention is so good. And um, I thank the 21 K people who are following my back and I still uh, very angry for more people to come and follow me back because we are in a mission. Like some lady somewhere said that we are in a mission. We are indeed in a mission. And therefore our mission is to bridge the gap and bring back our respect that was stolen from us. That is what we are up to. I don't know what you are up to. If you are with me in the same journey, please like my video, share this video. You can also pin this video to your uh, pages so that it can reach many, many people who are still. Okay? So thank you so much. And let's have another show in my next video.